Hi. So I will talk about how anticipatory stress influences decision making under explicit risk conditions. So uh, recent studies uh, found out that stress uh, might affect memory and decision making on emotional uh, feedback processing basis. So this study examined if anticipatory stress affect uh, decision making uh, measure with the game of dice task. And uh, the game of dice task is uh, the game of dice task is a decision uh, making task with rules that taps executive functioning and feedback learning as well. So uh, the effect of stress of decision making is of special interest because there is a lot of um, there's a lot of decisions that we have to made under stress in our daily life. So also there are uh, results of neuropsych. Uh, psychological investig investigations, which suggest that stress might either benefit or disrupt decision-making. So, the recent study uh, did a research of decision-making under stress with the Iowa gambling task, and uh, this task is a card game that requires individuals to process uh, feedback to learn to avoid uh, disadvantaging choices and also to select advantageous alternatives. Uh, so, because stress can lead to uh, distraction is in uh, executive processes, uh, reduced executive functioning have to be considered as a factor when participants perform poorly the Iowa Gambit test after the uh, after the induction of stress. So, uh, and this study is using the game of uh, dice task. Uh, which offers expertise and uh, stable rules for gains and loses, uh, gains and loses, and is therefore able to uh, explore this type of decisions. So um, this is computerized game, and uh, the goal of player is to maximize the starting capital of uh, fictional money by choosing among different alternatives. So the aim of uh, the present study was to investigate investigate whether uh, decision making under risk uh, measure with uh, measure with the game of dice task. So uh, they measured the level of stress with a lot of questioners, uh, and uh, to further uh, address the question of whether stress predominantly disrupts emotional feedback processing or executive uh, functions. They were doing the same dice test twice. So um, once they were doing uh, in the original version, and once uh, in a modified version where there was no any feedback. So, so for the study, uh, they recruited forty stud uh, students, and half of students were randomly assigned uh, to the experimental group, group, and uh, other half was assigned to the comparison group. So uh, they used a, a cover story to induce stress um, in the experimental group. So, so for this, students were told that they had to deliver a public speech on a topic, on a topic like how I evaluate my cognitive abilities, and uh, they should do that in uh, in front of two psychologists after they had finished a number of uh, neuropsychological tests. So. They were choosing the topic for speech, assuming that it would be, it would cause stress in a student population because they aimed to remove potential gender effects on stress uh, stress reactions. So uh, to measure the change of stress level in the experimental group and the comparison group, they were using questionnaires and uh, psychological indi indicators. So. Uh, both questions uh, were administered before and after the uh, induction of stress in the experimental group um, and at uh, comparable times in the comparison group. So for a neuropsychological test, they evaluated intelligence uh, with the uh, subtests that measure logical uh, reasoning. And um, for executive functions, they were used Two different tests. One was for uh, one uh, one for measure uh, concept formation and set shifting, 
and one for um, measure psychomotor speed and mental flexibility. So, uh, for psychological indicators of stress, uh, the results were so comparison between groups showed the, that the experimental group had lower positive effects scores than the comparison group before stress one uh, was in, induc inducted, but negative effect and anxiety did not differ between groups. So after the stress inducement, the experimental group had higher anxiety scores and higher negative and lower positive score, positive scores than comparison group. So uh, result with uh, within group comparison show a significant significant increase of anxiety and negative effect in experimental group when in the comparison group there there was a decrease in both anxiety and negative effect and for uh, psychological indications of stress a, a result uh, of the salivary course uh, uh, samples reviled uh, the expected elevation in uh, the experiment uh, group after stress however like they were there was only a significant main effect for a point in time but not for group and no interactions of uh, group point in time also uh, no significant effects for positive effects point of time and no interaction between point in time in group control for positive effect were uh, were observed also no significant interactions of gender point in time, gender group point in time, or gender group were observed. So uh, the main result of this study uh, demonstrates that demonstrated that the experimental group performed lower on the game of uh, dice test than comparison group, um, indicating that sets can affect decision making even in a situation with explicit and stable rules for reward and punishment.